hundreds of communities were left isolated, and Wales was particularly badly hit. The Beachian report was devastating, in my opinion, and uh, that report would, me would have meant and uh, did mean the complete uh, destruction of the railway system in uh, Wales as a whole. Many lines were taken away, which uh, had a, ter a terrible effect upon uh, the Wales as a country. Coal trains from mines to steelworks fueled the industrial base of South Wales, using the same tracks as the local passenger trains. But even the heavy freight was not enough to save this area from the beaching plan. Only five years before the reshaping report, British Rail made a propaganda film describing how it planned to build new railways in the area. Planning new tracks for new railways across old fields and ditches, cutting up the pastoral pattern up and down the valleys, down below the mountains, down to the industrial sea. Out of the muck and the mud, the clean and clanging lines were springing. New lifelines of a changing life. Links between village and village, between township and steelworks, between estate, factory and mine, and the open mouth of the valleys. Most of the links are now derelict, and the villages and estates that remain have to cope without the train. Trains still run to Treherbert. The busy station is near the top of the Rhondda Valley in South Wales. The trains shuttle passengers down the valley to Cardiff and back. The line once went further, burrowing under the hills through a two-mile tunnel, round into the next valley, and down to Bridge End. But since 1969, Treherbert has been the end of the line. Enormous inconvenience has resulted for travellers, and workers on the line either lost opportunities for promotion, or more seriously, they lost their jobs. This closure was contested by the railway workers, one of these is Gordon Coles. People would come up on the line from Cardiff, they would change at Treherbert, get on the train then, and they would go from Treherbert over to Bridgend via line on the station, which was about a mile higher up in the valley. That shouldn't have been closed because it's at the joining point of two little communities, Blaine on and Blaincombe. Then, of course, we used to proceed up through the village of Blancombe, a beautiful area in the summer and in the winter when the snow is down. And uh, you'd go into the tunnel. It would be all uphill going up and through the tunnel, and then you'd be going downhill then into Blanquinby and through the valley the other side, down into Camaravan. Then you'd go down gradient all the way through my stage and then into Bridgend itself where there was a market. So that was the only opportunity for the Rhondda Valley to have a, con a connection with the, the Avon Valley over the other side and the Lindvi Valley, which we went through, you went through in another tunnel. And we're all communities, uh, the community of Rhondda, the community of the Avon Valley, the community of uh, Lindby Valley were related in many ways. Young people met one another and got married and moved. Uh, there was a, a movement between the valleys. And when they put up that line for closure, it was obviously going to have an impact upon this movement of people. So in 1968, the railway workers launched a local campaign. Initially, we got the branch members together. And then we went, uh, sent out circulars to all organizations you could think of. 
with leaflets to individual members of the public. We met these people, dressed them in the clubs and in the churches and chapels and what have you, and discussed it with them. And the result was that we ended up with several thousand objections. Despite the strength of local opposition and clear-cut evidence of hardship, the Transport Users Consultative Committee recommended removing the service after a public inquiry. The Minister of Transport agreed and the service was cut. When they closed the line, they put the replacement service on, uh, but that replacement service again wasn't used and eventually was withdrawn. It would take you about 10 minutes to go by rail. Once the tunnel was closed, it would take you in the region about 45 minutes to an hour. The replacement bus had to use local roads, which were even worse then than they are now. So that replacement service was an impractical one from the start. It's a torturous road, lots of bends in it, narrow, and in the winter time, it was severe weather, very dangerous indeed. We hear so much about uh, community life, family life by certain people today, uh, and you, you think to yourself, well, all this has been destroyed because once this, we lost the service, then that may, meant that the communication was lost between the two valleys, the direct communication. We've been locked. As a result of the withdrawal of service, we are, we are locked in.